my litmus test for working with investors is um, if you're lucky enough to have term sheets from a few investors, um, you know, what's more important than the terms are the likelihood that you're going to have a really open and honest relationship and a high trust relationship with that investor. And so um, if, if you're looking at a term sheet, what I'd recommend you do is give yourself a gut check and ask, is this individual someone that I feel I could come to very comfortably with bad news? Because you will no doubt have bad, bad days, bad weeks, bad news to share with your investors if you're going through the, uh, the startup ride. Everybody does. So the question is, are you going to feel like hesitant? Are you going to like kind of shape the message to make sure that you know, they don't overreact or whatever? Are they going to get too, um, too, too just difficult to work with? Or are they going to be collaborative and help you solve whatever problem needs to be solved? That gut check, Peter, like you know, resonates very well with that, and I'm also blessed to have like Dan Skolnick is another great board member on my the team. I mean, I've, I've just got great investors, but they almost feel like co-founders. I mean, given that you were a solo founder, yeah. which is unusual. Uh, well, they certainly in, in the data. You know, they, they almost become. You say he's the best friend. That almost sounds like a co-founder. Uh, they feel like you know deep partners that um, you know I can be completely open and vulnerable with. So, yeah. and the interesting thing about it is. Um, I feel like it works better for their relationship with me too, because I, 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 you know, you can. People are smart. They know when they're being played or managed, or like you know, that someone's trying to represent themselves as being someone they're not. Um, and there's temptation to do that when you feel like you've, I don't know, you're, you're, def you, you, you got to defend yourself, or you don't have that level of trust with the person. But when you're completely open and vulnerable, vulnerable with your investors, they draw themselves in and really want to help you too, and help you grow and your company succeed. So it's it has this kind of symbiotic relationship. And I'd say the same thing with how with how you work with your senior team as well.